Hello everyone, I am back with another onboard walkthrough video. This is from Donington Park, it's earlier in the year at the pre-season test. It's quite funny watching this video back now because you can see all the pre-season mind games going on with other riders. So I'll talk you through that as well as showing you my lines, what gears I'm in. The camera is forward facing so you can't actually see my body position in this one but I have found lots of other footage from various tracks during the year. So I'll be doing lots more of these videos. If you do like it, subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. So I'll just crack straight on with this tutorial. So here we are at the Donington uh, test day. This was a test for all the classes, so you can see the pit lane's quite busy. There's a lot of uh, people come to watch as well. I think it was free to get in that day. So this is me leaving pit lane. Um, as always, make sure you have a good look before you move into the track. And this was sort of the second or third session of the day. To be honest, I wasn't actually that happy with how the bike was handling at this point, so um, I didn't have the best feeling with it. But we did make a change at the end of the day, we lowered the bike a lot um, and that made it feel a lot more comfortable. So with this bike, uh, which is different to last week, I had tyre warmers on it, so straight away I can um, get my knee down um, and be confident that the tyres have got temperature in them. I still always give it a couple of corners just to make sure that everything's okay, I don't steam straight into the first corner, um, but you can crack straight on with your lap. So this track um, that we're on here is the shorter track, it's the national circuit. Um, I do have some footage from the longer track which I'll do at some point um, but I thought we'd start with the smaller track. I think I prefer the longer track to be honest, I enjoy the chicane and the two hairpins but this is still good fun. So we are entering, um, coming down to the chicane now so this is going to start my first flying lap. There's two riders in front of here who have caught quite quickly so I'll know I'll have to pass them at some point. Um, so I get run onto the straight, I'll go third, fourth, fifth gear. And then I use that green paint there on the left hand side of the track as a braking marker. So I've taken quite a bit of time out them on the brakes there. So I've caught them in a bit of an awkward place really at Donington. It's quite hard to pass from this point onwards without doing something a bit risky. So at this point you kind of just have to follow the person in front. Um, you can always look for a pass on the inside here. There you go. So if you always go to the right hand side, they'll move to the left. It's an easy way to get through. This is really dodgy. I never uh, tell anyone to pass their, this next left, their Schwantz on a track day because I've seen so many accidents the corner comes up on you so fast that it's just not worth trying to um, squirt by someone on a track day there so always go through Schwantz uh, behind the person um, don't attempt to pass there because it can just get messy really fast so now I'm going to attempt to pass this person into the chicane I'd imagine so they've had a look because they can hear me there so they moved out of the way um, I go up to fifth gear and then on the right hand side there it's difficult to see but I use the curb on the right hand side as my braking marker so I go all the way from fifth back to second gear um, and these laps are racking off quite fast so I'll have to be quick in the way I talk around it. So again back up to fifth gear, down to third gear I believe there, I use that green paint, I get off the brake there and on the throttle, use all of the track on the way out there and then I go third, fourth. And this, I always hold it in fourth here because I feel like I've got a bit more control in my hand. Um, and it also means here, I only have to go back one gear to third. If you go up to fifth down Craner, it all depends on your gearing and what bike you're on. But on my thousand, I always used to keep it in fourth because it's one less gear to change when you get to the old hairpin and it makes it a bit easier. There I'm up to fifth, I'm back to third for McLean's. Hold a tight line there and then use all of the track on the way out so you can stand the bike up um, as quick as you can. Coppice, I'm also in third gear, you let it run out to the middle of the track there and then pull it back to that apex there and then use all of the track on the way out again. So Donington is all about being smooth, getting yourself in a rhythm and not rushing any of it. So it's mainly third gear a lot of this, um, it's just about carrying your momentum, not trying to be really aggressive with the bike um, and just letting it flow. So you'll soon get a hang of the fact that we're up to fifth here and <laughs> we're back to third, look for the green paint there as my braking marker back two gears, I get off the brake there, I was a little bit wide there, I didn't make the apex, again we're coming up on a slower rider here so I've got to try and time this pass, it's difficult to go down the left hand side there so I always wait and then accelerate hard past them there and get up the inside and brake there. Back to third gear, don't use all of the track there, I sort of use three quarters of it, fourth, fifth, so I short shift fifth gear there um, and let the bike run through. Um, I short shift fifth so that when you go in, uh, when you lent over a lot on that left hander there through Schwantz, you don't have to um, 
change gear because sometimes if you're lent right over and you change gear it can upset the bike so get fifth gear quickly before you tip into the left and it will make it all a little bit easier so I think at some point here Fraser Rogers will pass me I'm not sure if it's this lap there he is there so this is the beginning of the mind games Fraser was my competition this year um, so he's now in front of me so what he'll be thinking is I'm gonna put a lap in here I'd imagine I don't know but I'd imagine he would be I'm gonna put in a big lap here sort of follow this if you can so I'm doing everything I can to hang on to him because I want to have a look at his bike so follow him up here our bikes pretty similar there he's got me a little bit there so I know for the next lap that I can carry a bit more speed down there um, and then through the left he got me there so that's for the next lap I know um, I can go faster there and Fraser's stronger than me here he manages to sneak past um, so now I'm stuck behind the back marker um, and it's also quite tricky passing up into McLean sometimes because if that rider in front drifts across you're stuffed but Fraser has outbraked himself <laughs> which is quite funny so that proves that he was trying quite hard uh, to try and get away from me um, so yeah that made me laugh but in a minute I see another two riders as well which I'll explain when I get to them so coppice there when you get back to that last apex I try and stand the bike up as quickly as I can get onto the bigger part of the tire um, and accelerate hard if you keep it lent over for a long time out of coppice you'll never accelerate that hard um, and the bike will just spin up so it's important when you get back to that last curb to pick the bike up as quick as you can um, and get the bike driving so I'll let you listen to my bike here third so you can play that section back there and have a listen to what I'm doing with the throttle um, as I get to the right hander I roll the throttle a little bit to get the bike to turn in and then as I um, roll the throttle I, I tip the bike over to the left and the reason you do it on a closed throttle or as you're closing the throttle is it makes the bike turn easier if you're accelerating hard and you had the bike completely flat out it'd be impossible to try and get it over to the left so if you listen to that back you'll hear where I roll the throttle to help the bike um, turn here's where I mean that I'm up right there use all of the track on the way out fourth fifth and back to second gear here and here you can cut that left hand curb there um, but just be careful when you're doing it and be really careful when you get on the throttle that you've got the bike nice and upright if you cut that curb with loads of lean angle and accelerate hard on the side of the tyre your high side, there's been so many high sides out of there, Josh Brooks had a massive one um, and here's some more mind games so Luke Mossy's now passed me, I was actually finished there, I'd done my run um, but Luke Mossy's passed me but now he's sat up because he doesn't want to let me follow him so we're now doing a bit of cat and mouse, he's going slow, I'm going slow that's actually Lee Johnson there in front of us, fellow YouTuber and friend. So now Luke's having a look around, see what I'm doing, what I'm thinking. And here's Billy McConnell. So now Billy's doing the same. <laughs> so Luke's pretending that he doesn't want to go fast here. I'm also pretending I don't want to go fast. But now Billy's in the mix. So we both want to have a look at Billy. So Luke pretends he's not riding fast. But then he doesn't want to let me follow Billy. He wants to follow Billy. So he passes me back. <laughs> This is all, and now Billy sits up, so Billy, he's got his hand out because Billy doesn't want to let us follow him. And I just pulled in at this point because Luke had got away, so it's just quite funny, it made me laugh. Um, and it all means absolutely nothing, it's just a pre-season test, it means nothing at all. But we're all trying to get a look at each other before the season started, um, so I pull in at this point because I don't want to see uh, let Billy follow me. I hope all of that made sense. Um, to quickly recap, on third gear at Redgate, up to fourth for Craner Curves, down Craner Curves, I go back to third for the old hairpin, come out the old hairpin, third, fourth, fifth, through Schwantz, up through the left hander. When I get to Schwantz, I go back two gears to McLean's, um, so I do McLean's in third gear. I hold it in third gear out of McLean's all the way to Coppice, um, through Coppice, and then out of Coppice, I click fourth, fifth gear, down to the chicane, I go back to second, through the chicane in second. And that's a lap of Donington Park. I hope you found that interesting. Um, also, a quick little announcement. The Mad Mark merch, um, the remaining stock I've uploaded to the website. Thank you to everyone that bought them. 50% um, of this money goes to charity. So thank you to everyone that's helped a good cause. It goes to the Mind Charity. Um, we've got a couple of other t-shirt options on there as well. So I'll put a link um, to the website here so you can have a look. Um, if you like the video, please 
drop it a like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.